Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to talk about a little bit if you want to spend. So, free to play players, this is kind of enough for you. But those who want to spend maybe 10 bucks, 20 bucks, maybe up to 100 bucks, this is my recommendations on how to obtain this and what to spend it on. So, let's first let's talk about how you should obtain these 100 bucks. First, you should make a calculation on how much uh, you're, you can spend and how much you're willing to spend because being willing to spend a lot of money and then having the financials to <laughs> spend a lot of money are a lot are really different. So make sure to have a talk, really like a talk with yourself, maybe do an Excel arc on, on your expenses and your income and all that to figure out how much you can spend on a game. So now we've figured that out. Let's say you have a hundred bucks to spend, 30 bucks, 50 bucks. This will all almost be the same, right? So what you want to do, you want to go over here, all right? This is where most of the times you'll be spending your money because now I can't show it because I've already done it because I've been spending a lot. But if you were to buy the uh, 0.99 uh, cent or like the 99 cent US pack up here in uh, the corner. Um, if you buy it for your first time, you will get extra gems. If you buy any of these, you'll get extra gems. So if you need gems, you can do it through there. You can get some extra gems. This is not the yellow gem. This is not the white gems. This is the purple gems. The one that I have 170 of. And you're going to be getting... Uh, these right so just so so we're clear you're not going to be getting any more white ones but if you go to the official rewards here you can press limited so you press go to official website then you press limited so there's hot limited and then another offer where you can either get the red diamond gems or the uh, white gems so there's a way Instead of getting the diamonds, you can get white gems, more of them, by spending the same amount of money. And if you're someone that has a little bit of a um, your currency to this game or to other Apple games, they charge you more than it actually would be. So in my case, because I'm from Denmark, uh, they will charge me, I think it's half of the money extra around there so if i were to buy a hundred dollar pack in danish crowns that would be around 670 uh kroners but in us uh, like if i bought it through this game i would pay uh 900 kroners so i'm paying 230 kroners more because of apple charge uh because it had it, they're making their own ex uh, like valuta exchange or like yeah very annoying so i did try and go through the official reward uh, the official here and i ended up spending um oh, what was it so normally on a five dollar pack i would spend 40 kroners but in this case i ended up only spending 30 kroners so about a t uh, 10 kroner difference which is like two bucks if you're like really going like one and a half to two bucks but over time, it will add up. So, if you do it through their official uh, official website, you will save some money. So, <laughs> if that is something, do it like that, right? Okay, now we got to know, what do we spend it on? There are so many uh, ways to spend it. There's Lucky Spinner. There's these uh, events. There's these event spending. There's uh, insane events. What is the best rewards per buck so you all have seen if you played this game and played it for a little bit while you've all seen these hamster um some of them are actually pretty good value but i want to tell you these are not really they're good value but compared to other things they're not good value so for 50 bucks i can get two empowered gear remember that two empowered gear for 50 bucks now that my server is a little bit further ahead we have already completed the first mushroom pass. The second mushroom pass for 10 bucks, I will get two, four, six, 
8, 12, 14 empowered gear for 10 bucks. So my recommendation is when you get a hamster, really think about it. Check your other offers if it's really worth it. Let's now go to the gifts here or the event offers. These are cycling every once uh, every two weeks they come back. So it's like week in, week out uh, changing. So we have this. Um, it was kind of worth it. <laughs> For me, it was worth it because I kept spending. I spent every day and I needed more lamps. And I just needed more lamps. And then I only doing it for lamps. Um, but I uh, probably not worth it for you guys. Uh, then we have something like this. Same. I only did it for the magic lamps. I didn't care about any of this. Maybe the diamond key here, but it was only for keys. Anything else is just nada. The rebate chest never go for it. Um. Yes, if you end up spending on something else, great, you'll get something out. But don't see, oh, okay, I get a little bit of rewards. Let me just spend 10 bucks. No, that is, it doesn't give you good rewards. Then we have the value card, which in my opinion, no. <laughs> For five bucks, what you're getting here, no. Is The only thing that would actually be of the value here is the gems, because you're actually getting a, a, quite a lot of them. You're getting what? You're getting 2,100 gems. That's kind of a lot. Because 2,100 gems could give you a lot of things in a lot of different places. So, right now, we haven't spent any money. Any money we haven't we haven't spent yet because we're not getting to the good rewards here. So, if you are someone that doesn't have uh, a lot of time in the day to, do, to watch a lot of ads or just want to play it without having to do anything, skip ads this this is a game changer i saw it and i'm pretty sure i didn't like i didn't like it at first because i didn't i didn't really care when i uh, first downloaded the game but now it has saved me so much time so like during the day where i'm not i don't have that much time and i just want to make this idle this game having these ads to get more rewards is amazing 10 bucks I think that's the best spend. <laughs> then we have the monthly pass, which I love. Um, the actually the the only two reasons why I love this is because of the recovery chances of lamp robber and molten runes, and the unlock magic lamp speed up mode. I love it because when I started this game, I would have like a hundred k to one hundred and fifty k lamps because I've been buying all these so i i kept uh, ha like stacking them up because i didn't know because and nobody knew this game i didn't know if i should save them or not <laughs> so i ended up having like i think it's 150k uh, to 106k i ended up having and then i was like okay now i gotta open them so i went in and i bought the monthly card same with the life time card I, I bought everything at that point uh, after i bought everything else um <laughs> and i started using and it went so quick because it was just speeded up. And I am going to be honest. I didn't know that was these tiers where you get higher lamp you can open more. I didn't know that. <laughs> so yeah. Then we get to the lifetime pass. Which in my opinion is less of a good choice. Because it is it is lifetime. So don't get me wrong. Even though monthly cost is 5 bucks. I think this is 30 30 or 25 maybe 20 actually quote me don't quote me on this but i like it i really like it so daily dungeon attempts the one with the ad no not with the ads you just get one more attempt you get one more key amazing challenge ticket limits pretty sure that is for um the arena amazing daily speed battle attempts the, that is the key if you have, if you can watch ads, if you want to, or if you have skip ads, you can check here. I have four out of four. Those who haven't bought it will know the struggle of only having two. Having two more, so that's an now an hour more of sped up of everything, all the progressions, amazing. And because we unlocked the uh, the dark trials, we actually get another reset because I told you guys that you can reset. After you're done, um, you can, 
but only if you have the lifetime pass or the trial card pass. Didn't know that. That might, that's my bad. Um, then we get to the so, what I would buy right now at the moment, I would buy if I had a hundred bucks to spend, just like the other account that I did the hundred dollar account, I spend it on skip ads, monthly card, lifetime pass. And wait, yeah, lifetime pass. I didn't spend it on this because hmm, it's good, but you, it's it's not the best. For five bucks, it could be a good because it's it gives you a lot of rewards, and it actually helps out a lot getting your prayer statue up. So by that logic, it's really good. So you get uh, instantly obtain upon pressure. Yeah, claim daily. You get uh, these are the the rare ones like like these are the middle ones so they're giving good like they're giving good stats they're not like premium but they're still good we have the booster crop gains 50 percent can steal they can steal two fields simultaneously that was amazing because it was the best one on my server or like a really good pvp and nobody could uh stop me from stealing so if i had like a 15 weight steal on weekends and when i had my off time like every 30 minutes i would steal just because I could steal twice as much and nobody could beat me. Uh, you would unlock another field. So you would unlock here, uh, this one in the left corner, you would unlock that instantly. Because I'm the 35, I already unlocked it. But that was so nice having, so when I started, I only had one, but then I had two. Made made it so much easier, so much faster. Just did it a lot better. Um, definitely, I think like the... Two fields simultaneously and the unlocked fields. I think that's why I did it. <laughs> Mining license. I loved it. And I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why and probably why I'm going to buy it again tomorrow. The auto, uh, the unlock auto mining feature. Uh, I hate it. I hate it having to use. I think I can have it like a total of 150. I hate having to use like boom and then go further down oh i gotta use a bomb now i hated that so mining boom okay boom it will not do it like perfectly but it will do it it will get it done and that's all i care about I, yeah it was for that reason if you have the five ducks it five bucks i'm pretty sure it's five bucks and you don't have a lot of time like you could do like you could do mining. It will take you five minutes to do mining if you just do it. Uh, it's nothing crazy. I just like it and I for what I value my time, I think it's a good <laughs> it's a good investment. Then we have the trial card. Most of you guys will not have an unlocked if you're new players. I have definitely seen a increase in new players on my channel. So this is probably not for you. This is for more of the uh, OG players that started at the start. Because they have unlocked the new trial uh, experience or whatever it's called. The Dark Trials. <clears throat> so, the Dark Trials is 15 bucks. I'm pretty sure it was. And the thing you're going for here is the challenge rewards and the reset daily attempts. Because then you can get more rewards, faster upgrades. That's why you're doing it. <laughs> 15 bucks. I would not buy this. The only thing, reason why I'm buying it is to test it out and get further ahead because I want to stay ahead. Of course, I don't want to spend a lot. I want to spend reasonably. I could see uses for this. I could see you could buy this. But there's other things on this list that if you're on a budget, definitely something other than this that is worth it. So at the moment, definitely buy the skip all ads. Lifetime pass. If you have the money, yes. Monthly card. Yes, I'm actually gonna buy it. I think I have eleven bucks. I'm. I bought these eleven bucks like two hours ago, and I was like, I was so determined, but I wanted to make a video before so I could remember the prices. And I have no idea what I'm. <laughs> I have no idea what I had to use them for. Wow. Uh, but yeah. So I'll figure it out later. All right, let's go to battle passes. So. Let's just go with the obvious choice. Magic Land Fund. Yes. Straight yes. You're going to be getting so much gold, so many of these speed, uh, speed up tickets, and lamps. 
Lamps is whatever it is what is going to make you level up. And having this just made it so much easier. Like, I think at the end here, I would gain like 10,000 just for leveling up. So amazing. And I'm getting like 3 million already to get in another level. It just not nowhere near what I needed to upgrade, but definitely a great help. I this was a yes and instantly when i saw it I was like yes i gotta get it same with the level fund this might not look as good as the other one but all these gems can be used so many places when we first started our server just like when you first start a new account now the only thing you're actually thinking about is your lamp and then when you get to lamp like 10 you're going to be thinking about mount and prayer rush this is a really good way to boost income off gems so you can actually get more gems for these type of events. So these ones, definitely a yes. Mushroom Pass. Uh, I remember the other ones. I remember the first one there is on the Mushroom Pass and it was for the, oh, it was for the Take a Slow and Easy Breeze, I'm pretty sure. Or it was the Drain Bomb. One of the, uh, two of these three were in it and I loved it because I, at that time, we didn't have any of these red skills. We didn't have pink skills. And these were dominating both in PvP, PvE, and boss. Because lowering their attack so they do less damage is amazing. When you're not a warrior, lowering their atta the attack speed of others so you take less damage is amazing as well. In PvE, uh, slowing them down before them come to before they come to you amazing just not on warrior <laughs> a little bit uh, unfortunate for warrior so that battle pass and this battle pass is a definite yes <clears throat> you would get if you buy it you are getting two uh, tiers a day so if you bought it all you would be getting today i would get so the first two levels i would get two more keys and then tomorrow i would get two more i would get four more keys then I'm empowered, then two more keys, and then two more keys. So I would get a lot of things. And these keys, like, don't think about them as keys. When you've gotten so many, so the next one will give me 615. And you get a lot of keys per day because if you have the skip ads as well, all of these are going to stack up. And instead of just saying, I'm going to have 500 per key. No, no, no. Then you've got, like, eight keys. I'm going to give. Then you're saying, I get five keys. <laughs> 4k lamps per day and 4,000 lamps per day is amazing and that's just counting from the keys you're getting from these i know you're not getting a lot but you're getting some right you're getting them from events you're getting from uh there's yeah other things when you're starting to a server where you're getting them you're getting them from beating bosses like i can show you here if i can win it would be so unfortunate if I don't win. Yeah, there's no way I'm winning. Oh. So, as you guys can see here, you get lamps. It drops some lamps and it drops like, it dropped me 30. It doesn't seem like a lot, but when you use these lamps, you get so many good, uh, you could get, you could up to, it's up to uh, chances, but you could get so many good items that you're going to keep progressing. And with that, you're going to keep getting lamps. So it's like, you use lamps to get lamps so far so for me definitely yes both tiers both tiers because one buck for two keys a day almost nice then we have this one this one is only if you really want to go into your prayer statue if you don't really care for it if you want to figure that out later in the game you don't have to buy this this is just for the prayer statue. It has nothing else than the prayer statue. And I think that's nice. Because you're going to get a lot of common fertilizer. You're going to get a lot of seeds. Premium seeds as well. Like you can see some of the, like Every like third or three I think tier. You're getting five premium seeds. And with that. You're going to be getting two levels a day. As well. So every every day you're going to get five premium seeds and you don't have you probably have like three of the uh fields open 
that's a lot of progress then. And you, you're getting advanced seed as well. With some fertilizer, you're going to be chilling. So definitely a yes if you're going for the prayer statue and thinking, oh, yeah, this could be fun. So just to recap, this whole gift one, no. It's only if you're a mega whale and just looking for the easy keys to get further. So just keep that in mind. Here, skip ads, yes. Monthly card, yes. Lifetime, check your financials, else, yes. Travel mining, only if you care about the prayer statue. Mining license, only if you uh, see your time as not more value than five minutes for five bucks. Uh, yeah, I only did it for the uh, um, auto mining feature. If you don't care about the mining, you can always uh, do it as well. It has two modes, either digging straight down or going for resources. I I had started doing straight down because I wanted to get to the higher levels. But I'm right now, because I'm saving for the next uh, prayer statue, I'm doing um, resource gathering. Uh, trial card. Yes, if you're... Uh, a little bit of higher spender. There's definitely other things that you can use those fifteen to twenty bucks on. Uh, that is not that which you where you will get a lot more progression out of it. So only if you're a little bit higher spender and really see some value in it. Then we have uh, here, magic lamp fund level lamp fund. Yes, both yes. They're better than the shroom pass and happy farm. Just so you know, so much better. Shroom pass. Yes. This is a yes. And both the first one and the second one for me, yes. Happy Farm, it's a it's a it's a maybe. <laughs> it's only if you think about the uh if you think about the prayer statue and want to level up your fields. Else it's not gonna give you so much else, give you a little bit of gems. A thousand every two days, it seems like. Not even a thousand. Wow. That's 850 every two days. Not a lot. For 11 bucks, that is not good. So if it's a prayer statue you need and want to figure out, yes, then you can do it. Then we have over here, we have some packs over here, which some of them are good value, some of them are bad value. Um, let's check it out here. We got the dungeon pack. That is for me, when I mega spend, great value. Uh, you get four keys, which will put your head in this uh, little on the left here. I don't know, like missions kind of thing. It will put your head because most of the times it's not like your level it's holding you back. It's the uh, it's like you need to try it one more time here, but you don't have the keys for it. So definitely do it. Uh, like if you're spending a lot or you need the keys and think, okay, this could be a good investment. It will reset every day, so you can buy it every day for one buck. Uh, this, I will say, when you could get the combo pet, this was the pack that I would buy uh, in order to get uh, the seven bucks spent with the least amount of money that I could. These were the packs because I think that that's the best value for one buck. Uh, the magic lamp, no. 60 for one buck, no. You could easily do that on, like, just... AFK, you could easily get 60. Draw tickets, no. Tech, yes, maybe. It's only only do it in the tech week or when you're saving up to get more tech, like to get a tech rush. Don't do it out of an event. Uh, don't uh, don't buy these like skill coupons, coupons out of the event as well. Only buy them if you're going to use them for an event because then you get, you're getting multiple rewards on top of that. The planting pack, no. That is so bad value for money. Same with the mount pack. 68 for 10 bucks. That is insanely bad. How many... Uh, so you can see here... Well, here. You can see that 100 costs 3,500 gems. If we were to just buy gems, I think you can do that. Where? Here. 3,500 gems would be right around here through this. And you would get... How many would you get? Well, you would get... Uh, Clockwinders. You would get 100 instead of just the 68. No. 
not not worth it. In here, the weekly deals. I could see the tech. If you're in a tech rush, yes. Um, but only if you're in a tech rush and you're actually going for the top. But still, no planting, no artifact, no mount, no. None of these are worth it. Only if you're mega well, then you could go for it. Uh, these... If you're a mega well as well, you could go for the gem shoe. They give double, but I would buy so much else for that. Uh, here, clockwinders. When you have gems, go for the seven thousand. Oh, well, the clockwinders don't matter because the price is actually synced. So no matter if you buy the seven hundred, uh, seven hundred gems or the thirty five hundred, it's synced. So it will add up to the same amount of gems and clockwinders. Though it's not the same with gold. The higher you pay, the more you'll save. Uh, as a thumb rule, go for the six thousand one. That's the easiest one to save up to. It's not. It's not too much. It's not too little. The twenty eight thousand don't save up for them. That that will you will get so far behind on progress before you actually get to it. Then we have these, <laughs> which sold out, of course. So it will start. The both will start at a. One dollar pack, then they will go to a five dollar pack, ten dollar pack, thirty dollar pack, fifty, and then a hundred. I think it is. And yes, and no on both of them. Yeah, it, no, I think it's a no. I think I really think it's a no because, yes, in the early game, I actually did use a uh, nature's renewal. And the Durain Bomb a lot. That's why I haven't so high art level. Because I bought the new upgrades for them. But when we have so many new skills that are so much better. though, Although these are so unique that you, I, I could probably find uses for them. It's not worth it now. And having them at such high level will just upgrade their damage. It will not upgrade what they do. They will still do... Uh, like they will still recover 30% max HP even if it's a level 1. This will still slow them by 40% even if it's level 1. So it's only the damage that I wanted up. That it, That's why I did it. So, not worth it. If you're a Mega Will, go for it. It will give you some good gems. And it will give you some more damage. Which I could definitely feel. Um, The Pal Pack, definitely not worth it at all. Uh, I actually kind of regret buying that one because the Snow Sprite and the Warrior Panda, I switched out so quickly. And why I did that was because someone was saying, uh, telling me, hmm, what if we went a little bit further into skills and pals? And I was like, huh, yeah, I actually didn't think about that because I've been using all my gems on lamp level. So I started using gems here and I think it was in like oh, the first like, 5,000 gems I used, I got a better one, I got a better one than this, I'm pretty sure I got the, uh, no, I, I don't, I didn't, I wasn't using, uh, I got this one, instead of the snow spray, uh, no snow right here, then I got this one, and yeah, just half of the, half of the pack I already spent for, already gone there, gone there, so yeah, definitely not worth it. Then we got here, of course, if you're going to spend, if you want to actually keep yourself and keep it on a budget, buy it here first. So if you're like, okay, I can spend 50 bucks on a game, buy it here. Then you can keep yourself to that 50 bucks. You can go to the official. If you want to get more gems, like white gems, out of those 50 bucks, you can go to the official site, pay less, get more. Amazing, right? But here... Buy them here so you have them on your account. As you can see, I have 11.48 yeah, on my account. So now I know what I can spend. It will automatically, so if I try to buy this one, well, not that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, if I were to buy, let's say here, uh, this is monthly card. It will instantly tell you, it won't uh, go to your card or anything. It will just ask instantly if you want to buy it for this. So yeah, really nice. Um, and if it's first when you're all out of the white gems that will ask you for the other one to buy like with your card. So we're through, yeah, this one, of course, these just give extra red gems. 
If you want extra red gems, buy from here. If you want extra white white gems, buy them here. This no. Um, only if you're mega spender and want to buy this skill pack. Here, no. Only if you're mega well. Here, uh, don't use the speed up coupons. I think you could buy the five po five one. You could buy the twenty one if you really like need them right now. Right now, clock winders. Yes. Uh, Go for whatever you have when the event is there. Don't do this other event. Gold, do it from level 0 to level 10 um, on your lamp level. Else, you could do it if you're like on one level away and I got like 10,000 uh, lamps that's waiting for me. Yes, you could it. You could do it. Here, for 100 bucks, you're not going to get anything. You're going to get 30. You need 500 to get, get anything. And limited guarantee item within 100 doors, you're going to get premium seed or awakening scrolls. This is terrible. Don't. Only if you're spending and willing to spend at least 400 bucks, a little bit under 400 bucks, to get this. Not worth it. Here, don't spend just for this. You, the, If you want the this pet, spend 15 bucks. Don't spend it. No, this is 20 bucks then. Spend 20 bucks. Don't go for more levels. The levels will not increase. It will increase the uh, damage multiplier and the attack speed. I don't. It, it won't. It, the deploy effect will not be affected, and that's the only thing you're going for with pals. It's the deploy effect. So only go if you just want to go for the twenty bucks. Nothing else. Here. Only if you're ready to spend a lot of money. Detective ranking. Willow is on fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred will. You will buy 140. So he has spent at least a thousand bucks already on this event. A thousand bucks. And he is not even done because he has Shroomy and he has Amy right behind him. Who will also spend because there is more rewards to gain. So, it, and I'll, I'll just make a prediction. When this ends, Willow, Shroomy or Amy will be on 1900. Because Shroom will pay to get a little bit more, more head, and he will have his rewards almost cut in half with these Skyrider Pass, which is a lot of progress you're missing out on, so he'll buy. But you can see this. Uh, yeah, only if you're uh, uh, ready to spend uh, around 500 to 600 bucks, maybe even more. Because you can see the wings, you get them 500, so that's 400 bucks. This what you will get in three fifty, so that's like what maybe two hundred fifty bucks. You'll get the awakening crystal, which is the best one here, almost. You'll get them at seven hundred, and then you'll get the scythe in a thousand. Definitely not worth it. And don't don't like invest like oh let me just try fifty bucks for trying to get it. It has a zero point fifteen the unique reward, and the premium rewards have a two point six five. So you have a two point eight chance of getting anything good most of you won't hit it use your money in <laughs> other places which yeah these of course i talked about them briefly before there are some good ones there are some bad ones so if you're really struggling but <laughs> for a hundred bucks account no it's only because it's only if you're a whale then there's like a five thousand lamp and like a lot of uh, gold a lot of gems and a lot of coupons i think that's a good buy i think that's a good bargain and i think that's worth it but else no i think we went through every single place where you can buy anything i will though if you're if you're confused about the next events on if they're worth it what what the items actually do I will make a video almost instantly, having it out, maybe, sometimes I'll have it out within the hour, and within like two hours, sometimes I will post it in the morning, because sometimes it's not work, so I'll post it in the morning, I'll download it and post it, so you don't have to do anything right away, like the most, I think the shortest event we have had is two days, and that, that's the lucky spinner. I'm pretty sure that they last like three days, but I think we have one for two days. So 
you have a lot of time no reason to do rush things like yeah just take a breath and think about it before you start paying for stuff um yeah i think we covered everything so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and please again check your fin financials and if you're not good with money and will keep spending have having these white gems telling you okay this is how much i have left it's a great way of ensuring that oh i will only spend this and then maybe switch cards so you don't have not switching your entire card but like switch the money that would be used to online purchasing away from that card in a period of time so you know you can't spend more money or just make sure that you know that you can't spend more money but hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you have any other questions about videos that i should do if you're confused about something please let me know and i'll do my best to make it as quick as possible i do have a lot of content that i'm planning on delivering but this was one um, that i've been getting a lot of questions about because there's a lot of things going around but with what to spend on if you should whale if you should not but please check with yourself hopefully you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace